In video number two for Dementia Training Australia, I'll discuss some of the things I think are wrong with current residential care. You may ask, why are human rights an issue? What's the big deal? And why do you speak up about it so much? Or why do I advocate so loudly against institutional care and secure units? We know that institutional care ensured worse care for orphans and poorer care for people with disabilities and we moved away from that style of assisted living decades ago. We also shut down leprosy colonies decades ago too, yet we are busy building dementia villages which are surely just a sugar-coated form of segregation. Incidentally, they are reportedly making huge money for owners which for me confirms why so many are now being built. I'm very active campaigning globally to phase out institutional care, villages and locked dementia units. After all, NASA removed coloured toilets in the 50s. Over a period of 18 months of focus groups and interviews for a book I co-authored with Li Fei Lau, we asked what people with dementia wanted in residential care. Freedom was the main one. Locking us away based on us having an illness is not only a form of segregation, it's a serious, serious breach of human rights as we have a clear right to freedom. Enabling environments and disability support are seen as a human right, not just something that would be nice. Being diagnosed with dementia is the only time in my life I've come to understand from the inside out that sense of otherness expressed by the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It is the only condition I've ever had where at times I've felt like a non-human. This is a time for the stigma and discrimination to go and for people without dementia to support us to coexist in their community, which is also our community, rather than institutionalise and segregate us. My hope is for a world where all people are included.